ka committee jong ki nong trai katnat MEECL ya kabla tip kum ka coordination committee of registered MEECL employees associations and unions ha ka khalai tere ku jilio ar ja ar ku ar kalai kandu u mantri katnat boarding uba press tun tin song ban kirpar ek sarkar jilla ban ai ek project sha katnat MEECL ha bai kren ki lapat hai ku bor uba PK Shulet u president jong ki sang ulong ba ka jilla me kalaya kala ban pinmi palat lai hajar megawatt ka boarding kani ka committee kala ikran ru halor ki jimun toy ki baki nong trai kani katna ki dai ban yo kabla kot sha ka phras pa sa folklore tinka bar kani ka dang sa kut sa bar ka sor kar jalla na ru usnam a hajar shipho and uh, we have uh, deliberated at launch on various issues like terminal benefits that uh, you are aware of about 840 crores spending with the government that it is supposed to uh, give to MECL and it has been pending since 2010 since the time when MECL has been corporatized we have discussed on this matter we have also discussed on other issues like uh, uh, revocation of the order on the recruitment uh, which uh, rather I should say which bans the recruitment in MECL as you are aware that till that order had come before MECL had the autonomy to uh, recreate its own so but however subsequent to that order today there are large number of vacancies and uh, right at the, at the field level uh, in the in the post of jugalis technicians and the post and level of junior engineers assistant engineers which are very vital post because msl being a commercial organization and a purely technical organization uh, we are very happy to say that in fact uh, the minister has already uh, has taken steps in this direction and uh, he has initiated some steps which is welcome uh, we welcome uh, the step that he has initiated for revocation of this order and to set this process in in order further we have also discussed on the regularization of the contractual employees as you are aware more than 30% maybe 40% of the employees to be in MECL are contractual and uh, we must say that we must accept the fact that without these contractual uh, employees perhaps it will not be possible to run the organization as it is being a purely technical organization again so uh, it was very fruitful and uh, he has uh, he has expressed his desire to you know to take steps in this in in this direction and he had to also initiated some steps in this directions which we welcome so that uh, these contractual people who had already been serving some of them were serving for more than 20 years still uh, living on meager amount of 10 to 15000 i think uh, um, we must say that is uh, it's inhuman rather so he has agreed to this points and uh, we look forward uh, to the fruitful decision coming in the near future and uh, we have uh, most importantly we have also discussed about the potential of uh, of our state uh, with regards to power sector uh, uh, he we have put forth the uh, our request for the government to consider giving projects more projects to mecl because as we know we the potential of the state is about more than 3000 more than 3000 megawatts but hardly about 10 to 15% of that has been harnessed today and when we have the potential to generate that much of power we are still languishing today even after so many years we want to see back the, the stories of the good old days when in the sy mecb we used to have surplus of power when we used to export power to states like assam we want to see those days again and he is very much in sync with this and uh, he would in fact we were surprised to know that he already has in his mind about giving projects to mecl so we welcome this move of the government and uh, we uh, all of us we we wish and we wish the government uh, success in its endeavor and furthermore uh, he we had also discuss about uh, reforms i think you are aware that recently uh, there was uh, in the social media or in different media there was 
talks about the reform which he has brought forth and the reform that he we had discussed we have discussed today also uh, goes in sync with what we feel and we welcome the kind of reform that the government intends to bring in this sector